Hey friends, hope you're well. So, uh, quick story for you all. Uh, last week, Lisa and I were both hungry. It was around dinner time and she really wanted french fries. And so I went to a well-known establishment that serves great french fries. Uh, but it was really busy. The, the line was super ridiculously long because this place is well known. And uh, you can probably guess who are, where it is. <laughs> so I thought, well, let me just try going inside. Maybe it's faster. So I, I parked, went inside. When I walked into the inside of the restaurant, um, the vibe was probably tense is a, and stressful, as I think that's probably the most appropriate way of describing it. And when I walked in, I just was standing there for like, a, I don't know, maybe 10 seconds. And I could see that there was a lady just standing near the counter, looking really agitated. So the kid who was working the, the counter, uh, <laughs> he asked, uh, can I help you? She says, yes, I am waiting for two milkshakes. Strawberry to be exact. He felt very apologetic, turns around, makes the milkshakes real quick, gets it you know, to her guy in front of me goes makes his order I make my order and after I'd made my order he recounts it back to me it was rather quick but I thought oh, I think he got everything well 10-15 minutes later I go to the counter I get my order and I realize that there was a french fry missing I was like dude and I was about to say something but then I looked at the receipt and I realized nope wasn't there uh, I can't really pin that on them because I should have checked well oh well so I go home well later i really wanted those french fries so yes i went back <laughs> but i also wanted a neapolitan shake so made my order and i i get to the window and uh the girl starts to hand me a coca-cola i was like i'm sorry no i ordered a neapolitan shake and she checks the rest of the order is like do you want regular fries no i wanted the special fries and I also wanted uh, the sandwich that she was going to give me was not the right sandwich. So she had to double check. She kept checking, typing something in, <laughs> runs back, tells the guys who were running the grill, do this, 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 okay? And I thought, dude, what's going on? It's like just their bad day. And, um, you know, I really thought about it. You know what? It's It's a busy restaurant. They're stressed out. And actually, even later on in the week, uh, I, I was listening to a conversation that kind of helped to highlight, you know, everybody is not perfect. Everybody has some kind of flaw. And, and especially when you're working in a stressful environment, you're just trying to get the food to the people. You're trying to keep this reputation of this restaurant high. And yet, sometimes people can just be over demanding. It just seems like lately people are more stressed out, more demanding. And uh, I think we all need to give everybody a little bit of grace. In fact, Jesus in, in uh, Matthew 6, talks about, you know, asking for forgiveness and when he's teaching the disciples to pray, but also to forgive our debtors. So, look, maybe the next time you go to Taco Bell or Jack in the Box or wherever you go, maybe the post office, and there's, you know, taking a little slower than it normally takes, you know what? They may be backed up. We don't know what's going on. Ha have them a little grace. All right? And, uh, May we be kind and loving. Have a great week, everyone. Take care.